the construction of a road which will allow for direct access to the ancient Maya archaeological site of Caracol is raising serious eyebrows among opposition parliamentarians. The Barrow administration has lauded a project of this magnitude as enhancing the overall tourism vision by opening up the natural and environmental wonder of the area. Others in the House of Representatives, however, are not quite convinced, particularly since government is once again seeking approval for significant sums of money for the project to proceed to its second phase. Here's what the Prime Minister presented before the House on Friday. Madam Speaker, I move where is the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic oh. Development provide support for Arab and other development mm. countries by providing concessionary financing. Whereas the government of Belize has requested assistance for partial financing of phase two of the upgrading of Caracol. And whereas the fund has approved an offer of a loan in the amount of 6 million Kuwaiti diners, equivalent to approximately US 20 million. And whereas the approved funding will be used to finance 64% of the amount needed for the civil works and 100% of the amount needed for the technical assistance, and whereas the government of Belize will cover the remaining 36% through counterpart contribution. On April 26, 2018, $80 million from the OPEC Fund for International Development, OFID, was set aside for the paving of the Caracol Road. It followed the signing of an agreement between Prime Minister Dean Barrow and OFID's Director General, Dr. Suleiman al Harbish, for 26 miles of graveled road to be paved. Madam Speaker, on this second uh, uh, loan, which is for 40 million Belize dollars, it also states that it only covers 64% of the cost. Therefore, the 100% for this second phase will turn out to be 62.5 million dollars. So the total cost, Madam Speaker, comes up to 149 million 912,087 dollars with an average cost per mile of $2.88 million. The Caracol Road project aims to upgrade access roads from Georgeville and Santa Elena Town to the location, with double lanes and concrete bridges being constructed. Cairo Northeast Area Representative Orlando Habet was first to raise concerns about the borrowing and spending of those monies. Madam Speaker, there are various concerns in regards to this project. Firstly, the first 80 million or 91% of the cost of phase one was approved on March 9, 2018, one entire year ago. Today, we are presented with a request for a further 40 million of a total of 62.5 million for phase two, when phase one has yet to commence. Madam Speaker, not one stone has been moved anywhere from Georgeville to Caracol. Additionally, Madam Speaker, I have, I have a hard time considering such a project spending $150 million in the wilderness to access the Karakol Mayan temples. These kinds of monies are spent by very rich governments that have monies pouring out of their eyes. The people of Progreso, it's seven miles, will tell you that they would prefer to get their village roads, their village streets and farm roads upgraded. Opposition leader John Brisenio agrees that the money is being spent on that stretch of road can be used elsewhere for social development. I, in good faith, cannot support um, this loan. $20 million US paving the road to Caracol. And the honorable member from Kaya Ortiz was right. I don't know if they're trying to confuse me in bringing different loans so I can keep track. So how much really we're going to be spending on the Caracol road? Because if you look at what has been presented to us right now, Madam Speaker. They're saying that this amount right now is only covering 64% of this portion of the road. So they have to borrow another 36%. That 36%, Madam Speaker, is another 11,250,000 US dollars that has to be borrowed yet. There are so many other pressing needs in this country, Madam Speaker. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.